Thank you so much once again. And uh, I just pray that God will bless you wherever you are joining us and wherever you are watching us from. As I also say, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Why? Because I know that you are in different places, as I always say. So when I say good morning, good evening, good afternoon, it will find someone who is in the morning, it will find someone who is in the evening, it will find someone who is in the afternoon. Because I know that you are watching me from different countries. And because of that, there are different timings. So God bless you. Now, I have a, a small message that I have based on the vision that I get from God. That is a vision also, or a prophecy also, that is quite surprising and uh, a little bit uh, disturbing as well. And I want you to share this uh, prophecy until it reach the right person that I am talking about here in this prophecy. But before I release that prophecy right now, I am saying please subscribe to the channel. Help the ministry to grow. Nowadays, everything is changing. Ministries are online. Churches, services are happening online. We need to grow the online ministry. And because of that, I want you to subscribe to the channel right now as you are watching me. You have watched many of our videos. I just wonder why you are not feeling even shame by yourself. Watching us 15 times, 20 times, repeatedly, and yet you can't subscribe. What might be the reason? What might be the problem? Find yourself uh, subscribing to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe. So I can go Who's now subscribe? But no one after the video ratio. What subscribe? But no one after the video ratio. So as you turn on, you subscribe. But what is it? I go to church. You cure. Then you go away. Ignore it. Because I'm going to go to church. It's not going to be ignored. Ignore it. I'm going to talk and watch. You start to jam and chat. Or right now, you subscribe. I know. Jump, jump, jump. I'm just skipper, skipper. I'm just going to pay profits. You start to jam and chat. Or subscribe. Start to skipper, skipper. Subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Just go on. I'm going to chat. I'm over. I would not book a gumbo, never to a subscriber, pa channel your prophet Piaf. I would own him soro, a ufe, a panachunetic apauri, because you are subscriber. Otherwise, Unoto Kombori will do it, because your subscription is your connection. Kunezunus diki diki, that not for granted, but is really too powerful to change your life. I know, I will show you testimonies of some people that have sent me. Say, man of God, the day I just subscribed to your channel. I watched the, not even for more than three minutes the video that you had put. But the same day, I had a dream and I had a vision. And you come and prophesy to me this and this and that. And then it happened within uh, one week. It's a testimony that I will bring. Your subscription is a connection. Everything works by faith and believing. Faith and believing. Akuna chinu, chanoita come in contact. Chanoita come in contact ni munu wamari. Prophet TB Joshua Vita my healings on uh, on, 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 on YouTube here. Vita my, my deliverance is on Facebook. And also on a manji. When I chung one of my videos, I'll write to Kumbari or Stoporesco, which bat up a screen. Tell me one of our which bat up a screen. Prophet TB Joshua and Gavata Vata so, but one of us on a healing. Why? Because Panic Connection Iripo, a channel Iyo, Nempor Fit. Saka channel Iyo, Takura Nyasha, the Porisa. Saga, right now it is according to faith. Subscribe and I assure you, your life will never be the same. And don't just subscribe to this channel also. Go and subscribe to our channel called Alpha Times Future. You can search it there on YouTube or you can go on the description link. As soon as you finish watching this video, go on description box. There is a link that is there that you click, it will lead you to Alpha Times Future where you will see a page that is written Alpha online. Subscribe to that channel. It is our backup channel. I have explained about it a few weeks back. So I don't need to continue uh, talking about it. So now I want to give this prophecy now. Uh, actually, it's a prophecy about uh, Tokosan Kupe. But I think I'm not going to give the prophecy directly the way how God has given me. Because some of you, you will not understand. 
and also it is a very long vision that I had. So now because of that, I will just focus on the things that are important so that I will not waste much of your time here. So that I will not waste much of your time here. So now, uh, God said that I should give a word of prophecy to Tokozan Kupe that she must remain in the proper direction. She must remain in the proper direction. And this was the direction, but God said she must remain in the proper direction. But according to the vision that I had, I, 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 I think that the decision she has made to support the triple C, it is the direction that God is talking about. I shall come and give that vision some other time when I have time. But based on the contents of the things that was in that vision, God is talking about the decision that she made on supporting the triple C leader. So God is saying, keep that same direction. Keep being in that direction. Because something big wants to come out. Something big wants to come out. So God is saying, keep that direction. And God has given me a scripture that he clearly said that I should read this scripture for her so that she will understand. Why? Because there are two things that are there. If she keeps in this direction, something big is going to happen. But if she doesn't keep in the right direction, or if she does anything that is against what God wants her to do, it is something that will bring misfortune upon your life. This is according to the vision that I have. I'm just giving you according to the vision that I have. So now, I want you to read the scripture that God has given me. It's my first time to read this scripture also as well, which is in 1 uh, Peter chapter 3, verse 12. It is also my first time to read this. I only read it once when God gave me. I was just cross-checking, and this is the second time. But what I was trying to mean is that in my entire life, I might have read this chapter, this book, but I never put it in point on this scripture. It's my first time to have this scripture also as well because it comes directly from God. And God said in the Bible, for the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. It's something that she needs to mark. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. This is a prophecy that is given in scripture by God that I want you to understand, okay? For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are open to their prayers. His ears are open to their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil. I, I think it's not a good thing. Because I was telling you, 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 maybe in a few days, I will come and give and narrate the whole vision. Because I saw to narrate the whole vision, it would take around 15 to 20 minutes. And some of you, you would not have that much time and that much data and internet bundles to watch that much long. But in a short like this, you can understand. You can understand. But anyway, I'm going to come and give it. For those who have data and bundles, you watch it and you listen to it. But the meaning of that vision, it is here. First Peter chapter 3, verse 12. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. So God says, keep the direction you are in because something big will come up. But if you don't keep that direction, it will be something that will bring misfortune in your life. It will bring misfortune in your life. And remember this scripture, the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. And also the eyes of God are on those who are righteous. So, it's a choice that you need to make. I strongly believe that she will understand what I'm talking about. If she doesn't understand, 
you know where to get me. And as for you, Zimbabweans, it's your duty. Share the video until it reaches where it is supposed to reach. Dinufundis Wenyu, I'm signing out. Shalom.